MEPs have taken a big step towards making Europe's highly fragmented rail network more harmonized and efficient. It's hoped the result of the fourth railway package, approved today in blocks by Parliament's Transport Committee, will be a pan-European goods and passenger network that's more open to competition and that becomes what they call interoperable, ending the technical and regulatory absurdities that stop the movement of many train services across borders. Man stelle sich vor, ein LKW, der von Tallinn nach Lissabon fährt, der müsste 26 oder 28 Sicherheitszertifikate machen und sich bei 26 oder 28 nationalen Behörden erkundigen, ob er denn daher fahren darf. Da würde jeder sagen, das ist verrückt. It's also hoped the changes will lead to the introduction of better rolling stock, which in turn could attract more people. Currently only 6% of passengers use trains. Next stop, the start of negotiations with member states. It's a sobering fact that just 1% of the proceeds of crime, like drug trafficking and counterfeiting, is frozen or seized by the authorities. The remaining 99% is cleaned up and finds its way into the legal economy. Why? Partly because of big differences in the way some member states tackle the confiscation of criminal assets. Today, MEPs on the Civil Liberties Committee took steps to change that. Maybe some uh, do upgrade their own laws, but many don't. We need uh, legislation at the level of the EU. Those who are doing fine and confiscate very well, but many don't. Attention often turns to the poorest of the poor in Europe during winter. The attention is timely, as the scheme to support them for the next seven years through a 3.5 billion euro fund is advancing to the point where agencies helping the poor should be able to activate their programmes from January the 1st next year. Agreement has now been reached with Member States and Parliament's Employment and Social Affairs Committee. Next step, a plenary vote expected in February.